Hi everyone, today I'm doing a review of the Bass Top, or maybe it's pronounced Bass Top, see-through Joy-Con case replacement. So I have the grey see-through version. They also have different colours, they have purple, green, they also have solid coloured ones as well that aren't see-through. But I thought the grey ones look the best because they sort of complement the black switch and also the rails on the Joy-Cons, uh, they're still black. So I thought they looked pretty nice. So I'm going to do a review of how the case fits over the existing components and basically the overall fit and finish and how they feel in the hand. So I also have a longer DIY video which I will link in the description that you can use uh, if you want to follow me on how I replace this. And just spoiler alert, it took me almost nine hours to get these covers onto the existing components, so basically to do a shell swap. And oh my god, it was the freaking hardest thing I have ever done. The ribbon cables are tiny, the screws are tiny, the connectors are tiny. Just make sure you have a lot of time and patience before you try to do this. Alright, so let's go through the, the feel of the Joy-Cons in the hand. So I have here the replaced version. So this is the base top or the, the clear cased one. Um, so on the left, this is the left Joy-Con and this is the see-through left Joy-Con. So the original one has like a soft touch plastic. Uh, it feels nicer in the hand and doesn't like show like sweat or like oil marks as nearly as much. Uh, the clear one is like a hard plastic. So it's not soft touch anymore. Uh, I would say the original one feels a little bit better in the hand because it feels just a bit softer. Uh, this one kind of feels a bit harder and it's a little bit more slippery because it's like a, a hard plastic. And I can imagine um, if someone was using this and they were like sweating or had oily fingers, I think this would feel dirty a lot easier uh, than the original one since the original one has a nice soft touch feel to it. So the, when I installed the left Joy-Con, I didn't have much issues. Everything went together really nicely. Um, the fitment was quite nice. I didn't have to shave or cut anything. Um, one thing to note is all the screw holes, uh, the tri-wing screws, and also the screws inside, none of the holes are threaded. So what that means is it's basically just a, a hole with no screw threads in it. So when you do screw it in, the first time you screw in the screws, it will feel quite hard. So basically you are cutting the thread as you are screwing this in. So I'm not sure if you can see that. Let's see if I can get this to focus. So you can see that this part has some thread. That's because that's where the screw went in. But the part below it has no thread because the case itself didn't have any thread in the hole. So just bear that in mind. When you do put it in, uh, you have to use some force. The case replacements also came with some replacement uh, screws. I would probably avoid those um, just because I've heard horror stories of people breaking the screws as they screw in um, and because you do need to use a lot of force because you are cutting the thread as you go. So I stuck with the original um, black ones. So also the, the black screws that come with the Joy-Con, they're actually painted black so just don't use too much force otherwise you'll scuff them and they'll look a bit silver so that's what I did but they're barely noticeable. So no major issues with the left one when I installed it. Now, the right one on the other hand, holy crap, this had a lot of issues. So I don't go through this in the DIY, that's because um, the DIY was the initial installation. Only afterwards did I notice that there were some problems with this. So on the, the right one, the, the main issue was that the case itself didn't fit quite well. So they had all these ridges inside the case. Um, some of them stuck out a little bit too much, some of them were sticking out here, sticking out there. So basically I had to take a Stanley knife and then just shave off bits of it before it could close properly. So even now it doesn't close quite 100%. Um, but prior to me shaving it, uh, I had issues with the plus button. It would actually be too thick and it would force the plus button to it always uh, up position. So you basically, you can't press it down. It was really hard to press down. Uh, that was the major issue. Um, the second issue, actually this issue exists for both. Uh, the, the play, or the, 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 I don't know if it's called play, but basically the ZL and ZR buttons feel a little bit more loose compared to the original. So this is the original. See, there is very, 
very little play before it clicks. Whereas this one, there is noticeably more and then it clicks. So I'll try and do that together. See that? And then see this. It's a bit, it's a lot more wobbly compared to this one. So I actually reopened it and checked. Um, I thought maybe the spring was in the wrong place, but it's, it's actually not. The spring is in the right place. So what I think it is, is the quality of the case itself is not that great. So they have these little pegs that the, the spring sits on. So I suspect that the, uh, the peg or the case itself isn't as thick as the original one. So therefore the, the spring has more play. So the spring is not as compressed as the, in the original. So therefore it's got a bit more movement, but it still works fine. Still clicks fine. If, if I weren't comparing this side by side, I won't even notice the difference. But because I do have two, you can notice the difference. So that's basically two of the major issues with the case. Um, would I recommend it? Maybe. I mean, if you've got a lot of spare time and a lot of patience and determination, you can do this. Uh, I basically did this blind. Uh, there are tutorials. Uh, you can look at my tutorial as well. But it was extremely difficult. I mean, you can see here, that's one of the ribbon cables. It is maybe two or three millimeters wide. So when you are pulling these things out, it is extremely hard to actually to pick them up in the first place and to actually put them in afterwards after you've replaced the case. So it does take some time. Um, I didn't break anything, which was amazing. But yes, be prepared. And another thing to be um, prepared for is the battery is held down by double-sided tape. So some components are held down by double-sided tape. The tape itself for the battery was actually stuck to the original case. So I found out afterwards, uh, I didn't take the, the uh, double-sided tape with me. So afterwards I found out if I shook it, the battery would slide around and you could hear it clicking. So basically I took it apart again, I removed the tape from here and then I put it here and then I stuck down the battery. So just bear that in mind if you wanna do it. Uh, take the tape with you so that nothing is wobbly or, or shaking inside afterwards. So that's basically it. Um, that's my review of the base top see-through case. Um, just be prepared that this is very difficult to do. Um, if you've got the time, then yeah, go for it. It looks awesome, but damn, man, this is freaking hard. Thanks for watching.